Hello, my name is Jace Jones. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Maryland School of Pharmacy in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences. I'm also the associate director in the Mass Spectrometry Center. My research focuses on the use of mass spectrometry to gain structural insight into lipids, glycolipids, and other larger biomolecules. Um, I have, in the past, have had interest in looking at uh, microbial lipids and microbial uh, uh, glycolipids and recently have transitioned that research into looking at the viral envelope, in particular characterizing the, the lipid composition and protein composition of viral envelope starting with influenza and now transitioning to SARS-CoV-2. Recently we've established a collaboration with MassTech to use their AP Maldi technology and interface it to some of our mass spectrometers in order to develop rapid detection systems for the spike protein in SARS-CoV-2 and also to gain structural insight into the, the lipid composition of the viral envelope. Two instrument platforms that we're currently working on are the Thermo Q Exactive, QEHF, and also looking at the Agilent 6560 in order to um, obtain multidimensional data in the form of eye mobility, accurate mass, and tandem mass spectrometry. SARS-CoV-2 is an enveloped RNA virus, meaning its genetic material is encapsulated in an envelope. The envelope consists of proteins, most notably the spike proteins, which extend outward from that envelope, lipids, lipid aggregates, and lipid protein, ag lipid protein aggregates. The composition of the viral envelope enables the coronaviruses to be highly successful in their transmission and replication. We are interested in using mass spectrometry to characterize the protein content and the lipid composition of enveloped viruses, in particular SARS-CoV-2. We have initiated two collaborative projects with MassTech, the first being the development of a standard protocol for SARS-CoV-2 detection using biotyping through spike proteins, and a second project, which I'm only going to briefly mention at the end of the, the presentation, is rapid and comprehensive detection of SARS-CoV-2 envelope lipids. We set out to develop a standard protocol for spike protein detection. We wanted this protocol to be simple, fast, and accessible. Our initial work started, started with purified protein, spike protein, and we're, we're moving towards, towards more biologically relevant samples, such as virus particles or blood, in, in terms of blood, dry blood spots. The protein digestion step wanted it to be rapid and a simple digestion. Our initial efforts was an overnight trypsin digestion, and we have, we're have progressing to making that a much more um, rapid, consolidated um, 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 process. The digested proteins, the, the, the peptides, are then spotted onto the multi-plate. Um, we are excited about the multi-platform in terms of its low sample consumption, it's tolerant to salts and buffers, which, which, which um, relaxes the sample preparation requirements, which um, 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 allows for limited or no sample cleanup of our digested peptides, of the digested proteins. And it's amenable to automation, meaning this is we can extend this into a high throughput fashion, high throughput um, um, format. Uh, the analysis is being done using MassTech's atmospheric pressure AP Maldi source uh, interfaced at least initially to the Thermo Q Exactive. Um, the Maldi, the AP Maldi source is a universal source. It's it's vendor neutral, meaning it can be adapted and interfaced to a wide variety of mass spectrometers, which increases the accessibility and allows for this type of technology to to, to be in, in in laboratories kind of across the world. In addition, the MALDI process is, is fast. We're talking on the timescale of about seconds per samples. 
ultimately what we want to be able to produce is a spectrum that is that that is representative of, of peptides that are diagnostic to the spike protein okay so we want a peptide fingerprint and then we can use that peptide fingerprint in kind of a, a, a an automated data analysis format to 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 really um, um, inform on detection of the SARS-CoV-2 okay let's look at some of the data what I have shown here is a mass spectrum of the digested spike protein. The data was generated using Mastex AP MALDI source interface to a thermal QEHF. The mass spectrum details a number of peptides from the digested spike protein. Listed here are 12 of the more abundant peptides from that digest. Of interest, are two particular peptides that are specific to the receptor binding domain. We're interested in using these peptides along with some of the other peptides as a diagnostic fingerprint that is indicative of presence of the spike protein. I highlighted here just a few of the, the parameters that we're using in terms of scan parameters and acquisition parameters. One of the advantages of using a Q-Exactive is the ability to acquire spectra at different mass resolutions. What I've shown here is a zoomed in region of a particular peptide from that spike protein digest acquired at different mass resolutions. What we have found is that increased mass resolution has corresponded to increased specificity and that increased specificity has corresponded to increased sensitivity. So in addition to doing an MS1 scan, we can also do tandem mass spectrometry. Um, we can do an MSMS scan and get detailed information on the identity of the peptide. Shown here is an MSMS scan of a particular peptide from that protein digest. So our, our initial data is, is very exciting. We're, we think we're on the way towards establishing a standard protocol for MALDI MS spike protein detection. We're in the process of moving towards more biologically relevant samples. We're progressing in our development of a rapid, simple digestion. Um, the MALDI process is ideal in terms of its low sample consumption, ideal in terms of its tolerance towards salts and buffers, which, which um, alleviates some of the burden on the sample preparation in terms of cleanup, um, and it's amenable to automation. Uh, once again, we want to make this a, a high throughput method. Uh, the use of Mastex AP MALDI source is, is, is once again highly advantageous because of the ease at which it can interface to a wide variety of mass spectrometers. We've demonstrated um, it can work on the thermal platform. We're actively working um, to interface it to a couple of different Agilent systems, and we're in talks with SIAX to interface um, um, the AP MALDI to, a, to SIAX instrumentation as well. Uh, in the end, we want to be able to generate a peptide fingerprint that is diagnostic for the SARS-CoV-2. Lastly, um, would like just to highlight the, the role of the AP MALDI source. So I mentioned in the beginning we're interested not just in proteins, but also in lipid composition. Here I'm showing just a mass spectrum. This happens to be from influenza particles, inf the influenza virus, not the SARS virus. But this is just a total lipid extract from those virus particles showing that the AP MALDI source is accessible for characterization of the lipid composition and it provides very detailed information that can then be used um, um, to profile the lipid composition of virus particles. With that, I would like to thank um, a, a number, number of folks, uh, my, my, my lab, a couple of graduate students, on and Yuli. I would like to thank MassTech, Rich, Eugene, and Constantine. I would like to thank um, Hector Hector, uh, whose lab um, provides us with uh, with uh, um, virus particles, the virus samples, be it both influenza, but also all the coronaviruses. And then my, my, my colleague at the University of Maryland, uh, Daniel, who's been helping um, with the protein side of things. I'd like to acknowledge my funding and would like to thank um, the audience for their attention.